Right then, so I've just come across that field. In fact, there's somebody else coming now that I've just spotted. Let me just see if it's a man or a woman. Wait a minute. It's a bloke. Right then, I think I'm on video. I'm just going to carry on. You might not even be coming this way. So this is it. We're going towards Donnerford, which is three and a half miles. There's a camping caravan site over there. Then there's Quantock's West Quantock Head where Georgia got married and where my mum and her friend Edward worked at the school there when it was St Audrey's in the 50s and some of the 60s Edward w worked there. It's been various things, it's been a school, it's been um, it's been a a Buddhist centre it's been lots of... They've cut the grass since I was here the other day as well. You couldn't get this far out the other day. No, you couldn't get this far out. They've cut the grass because the summer holidays was back. That's the good thing about the camera. I was able to zoom in then and see it's a... Probably a boat bloke about 75. Coming along with a grey beard and a rucksack. And he's got the walking trousers on and all that, you know. I don't want to... But the thing is, I don't walk with anyone. Not because I'm antisocial. It's because I do videos. It's a different walk with family. And they haven't always been interested in walking. And some of them aren't still. Zara will only do small walks. Duncan's not interested in much. Though he's got lovely strong legs. He could do. Jolene used to like running. She does a bit of walking, but not much. George is the only one, I think, who will go up. Um, and Harry, they, they they do make a bit more effort and get up on the Quantox more. So, but they've got their dogs, you see. How many dogs have they got now? Three. They've got three dogs, yeah. Some can't walk very far. Um, the other one needs probably quite a big walk. It's a bigger dog. The Mastiff. So there we are, look. I was right up there a minute ago. You can feel the heat. I just hope they're in a storm because I should be petrified. <sighs> I want to be near buildings and people if that happens because it's getting a bit dark over that way but it's supposed to be moving not not staying so I'm doing a little bit of video as I'm going down here for, for, for people so they can see and get an idea of the landscape that I'm treading on and I'm videoing because I know that there's somebody arriving going to pass me soon there's the um the beach there. It doesn't look like there's a way down. There might be though, around the corner. And I've just come down from up there. And here's, look, there's a, they've even done the bale of hay along here, so nothing's wasted, look. And there's those red things there. I keep forgetting what they're called. They're pretty little flowers as well, aren't they? Those little St. John's ambulance looking type ones. They're pretty, aren't they? Yeah, look, they've even... Like I said, when I was here a week ago, none of this was done because I was saying, oh, I can't walk in there because there might be snakes. Well, there could still be snakes. There's a big bale of hay, look. It's up, as, up, up to my chest. Massive bale of hay. I can't see that other person. They might have gone the other way, you see. They might be doing a different walk where they're going towards um, Listock and round. So that's another walk you can do. 
there's lots of walks that you can come off the Quantox. That's, my aim really is to follow a bit of the Coleridge route um, sometime today and then come back. I, I'm, I'm going to go at least to the holiday village up here. That's plan A, at least to the holiday village. And then I can plan the next stage another time, so I'll have to do it in stages. So it takes between 40 minutes and an hour to get out this far from Weston. Now you have to allow for traffic as well. Yeah, no, he's not come down this way. I think he might have gone the other way. Or he doesn't want to bump into anyone either. Because, you know, the thing is, I expect people do. I expect you do bump in and say, oh, I'll walk along with you if you want. You know, I mean, it could happen. But, um... And you could do it for a little while, and then you'd have to say, oh, you know, I'm, I'll let you go now because I'm going to take some photos. I mean, I have done that before when I've been away. I've met somebody, had a little chat, you know, for, with them for a little while. Uh, you learn from people, otherwise you don't learn anything, especially if they're a local person. No, he's no sign of him. No sign. He's, he's gone the other way. I so said it is temperamental the weather today so and it did say there could be some showers it didn't mention thunder and lightning another big bale of hay there right I'm going to turn off now I'm just going to video this beautiful scene first though before I turn off so I'm standing actually on a cliff edge I was walking across the field up there earlier and then down towards East Quantock Head um, Church and I've been on parts of this beach, further up I've been on parts of this beach, come down a stairway I was here a week ago a week ago today I was here so it's gone very fast but I've needed the time to do all the videos, sort all the photos out and all that sort of thing but isn't that stunning? Even with grey sky, that is stunning. Over and out.